Hi, Marilyn O'Malley here at MarilynO'Malley.com, uh, Ascension Guide and Life Coach for highly sensitive star seeds, way showers. And today I want to create some clarity around why it's important to have clarity about what it is you want to create in your life. And I help people learn how to manifest their life, how to transform their life, how, how to change and create the things that they want in their, in their life and um, take them through a process. And it's a journey. And part of the journey in creating change is helping you clear away the old stuff, clear away the dense energy that's holding you down, that's old patterns that has been created through uh, childhood, through your schooling, through your culture, through your religion that no longer um, supports you or really matters in, in your life, doesn't make a difference. It's just limiting you and helping you um, in the direction of where it is you want to go but most people don't know where they want to go and so a lot of times when they're saying well i don't want to feel this way so how do i feel this way or how do i create something different my biggest question is is what do you want in your life and and that's really why i created your life vision that it's so important that i take you through 14 different areas of your life and i'm I'm not, I have that as an offering so, um, so that you can get clear, but this is really important no matter what and whether you do something with me or somebody else or you just sit down with a piece of paper and you write out how you want your life to be, how you want to be, how you want your career to be, how you want your family to be, how you, you know, how do you see your future? How do you, uh, it's even envisioning humanity and our world. How do you want those, um, how do you want your world to look and feel and, um, you know, what opportunities and experiences do you want to experience? It's really important that you spend time. You are worth that time and let me tell you if you don't feel you're worth that time you won't be creating that down the future what happens is if you're not creating something new if you're not creating new visions using your conscious mind and you're and you're playing those over and over and over and you're going over them and you're moving towards them and you're taking actions and you're um, uh, you know creating that reality inside you um, you will just keep reliving your past over and over again. So if you're really happy with your life, then you don't need to do this. If your life is smooth and you're in the flow and you're um, you know, playing out your highest, best life and you feel good about things, then you don't, you, you're, 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 um, you've got you know, the programming and you're, and you're happy and then you don't need to change anything. You don't need to know it anymore until it's not working for you anymore. But if you're not happy about any aspect of your life, about how you feel about yourself, about your health, about your wealth, about your love relationships, about your friendships, about your career, about your growth, um, about um, your service, um, your, your uh, family, life, your parenting skills, um, how you show up in the world, um, what you, you know, what is your legacy? What's the legacy that you're going to leave? Um, if that's something that's in your um, frame of mind now that you're thinking about. But all of those areas, if, if, if any, or if any of those areas aren't where you want them to be, aren't what you, um, Ha, are envisioning or um, you're dissatisfied if you're not satisfied if you're not loving your life if you're not turned on then you have to come up with a new perception a new possibility new 
ways of feeling and getting in touch with how you want to feel. So if you're not satisfied, you might just want to be like, what would be a satisfying life? And I, I get a lot of people that go, I don't know. So first of all, a way that you can do this to help yourself is figure out, okay, what don't you like about a certain area of your life? And then, so what would be the opposite of that? And is that what you want? And then you can refine it, you know? So it's like, yeah, I'd like this part of that, but I wouldn't. Um, so let's say you're in a, in a loving relationship. You think a loving relationship, but there's poor communication. Um, there isn't, um, you're, you're not having the connection that you, that you desire, or you're not spending enough time or, um, you're not being treated well or respected or honored, then and you can so pick out the things in that relationship that aren't working for you. And then say, okay, so what would work for me? What would really make me excited about this relationship? So is it good communication? You know, is it um, um, that you, that there's respect, that um, you have, uh, values in common, that you feel good around the person, that you add to the person, that you're excited, uh, um, that there's passion, uh, all um, that you um, um, you compliment each other, you know, so it's like things like that you can come up with. So, and what does that feel like? Is that loving? Is that respectful? Is that honoring? Is that adoring? Is that um, satisfying? Is that, does that make you happy? Um, are you happy in that relationship? So not that it necessarily makes you happy, but, um, and so how do you have to show up in the relationship then in order to make that happen? So see, if you, otherwise, if you don't start saying, okay, this is what I want to create in this relationship, then the habitual things will just continue on and on and on. And in your head, you'll continue on complaining or uh, not feeling satisfied or regretting whatever is happening versus when you have a direction and you're saying, you know, that uh, we add to each other's life and that we honor and respect each other. Okay, now you have some direction, you have a feeling um, and that you're, you're, you, you feel love, you feel deep caring in this relationship. So now you can start, do I deeply care for myself? Do I respect myself? Do I communicate well with myself? You know, so it's like now it's like internal. Where do I not believe that I'm lovable? So I'm, I'm not um, thinking this person can love me because I can't even love me. Now this gives you places to work and go and you keep thinking I'm, I'm lovable and um, I'm satisfied with who I am. And, and so it, you, you start working uh, in a different way and when you start showing up with you, now all of a sudden your world starts shifting and it, and it really wasn't, might not have been that the other person wasn't respecting you, it was your vision that it was like, who can respect me because I can't even respect me. Uh, but when you start deeply caring and respecting and honoring you, all of a sudden opportunities for the other person to do that shows up. And um, you start acting differently. You start speaking differently. You won't tolerate things that aren't respectful for you. So that's, that's, that's one um, example. And so, again, um, it's only to your benefit. And I know a lot of people like to take the time and do this. And I think there's a psychological thing you have to just gonna have to get over that you are worth this time. And this time is about creating your future. And if you don't stop to create your future, you will keep reliving the things you don't want in your life. Really, this is really important. And you have to, when you create your future, and I promise I will help you after you create it, how to um, to move forward. In fact, in my um, in in my program, your life vision, you can um, at, you know at the end I take you through a visualization and everything because 
a lot of this is, and and through each of the steps, I help you. Um, I help you see number one. What are the, your limiting thoughts about the belief? And, and a lot like the we'll take the loving relationship. In the loving relationship, if you don't believe that you're lovable, or you believe that love is dangerous, or is self-sacrificing, um, whatever your beliefs are about it, or it's hard, um, um, then then you you get to see those so that you can see how that's shifting, how how that's creating the world that you have right now. And if you, then we say, okay, well, what do you want? What What is it that would really be ideal for you? And then you write those down. And then we write down um, why those are important to you. Because why is really important. That The why is the energy behind it. And then the strategies, you know, just some a couple simple strategies that you can start to implement now. And then you be in the energy of that daily and it starts, so you start, will start to take new actions, you will have new thoughts, you will have new feelings, you will see opportunities and different things that you haven't seen prior living in that unconscious, habitual way that you were living. And that's how you start to um, change. And as you're going through this, you're making decisions. So you have to let go. You have to clear out the old dense energy that was holding you back. That it, the, the old beliefs, right? We're going to clear those out, create new beliefs, new feelings, new possibilities, and new energy around that, new frequencies. So that helps to call in um, um, new energy, new possibilities, all of those things that are really important um, for you to move forward, that you feel important. And you can keep going in and fine tuning all of this and you will do this daily. And so I describe all of the ways that you go through this and, and how to create it. I lead you through. And at the very end, I take you through a visualization of all of your life and how it feels and what it would feel like and be like. And in just in doing that and tuning in and, and experiencing this through your heart and and feel and letting your your vibration and your idea of who who you are expand out there starts to change, starts to activate new energy in you, new um, you know, um, new ways of being and actually will start to shift your DNA if you live in that daily and will again transform your life. So I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, reach out to me and ask me about it. But otherwise, feel free to check out your life vision and or any other, uh, you know, sit down on your own and do it or um, you know, find somebody else who is doing it. I don't care. It doesn't have to be with me. But this is really important for you moving forward. And it will also help you through this year as things are going on, as the craziness and the chaos all around us are, are, are you know, um, happening. When you are clear about where you're going, what you're doing, who you want to be, all of that really helps to ground in and give you a very strong foundation to hold your energy and um, keep doing your work and not allow all the other craziness to interrupt you, to um, get you off course. Because um, it's really going to be important this year for you to hold your foundation to keep your grounding to do your inner work keep your focus don't be distracted by all the chaos that's happening around the world and just keep doing that and you will be helping to create the new world the new you and the new year all right until we meet again love live and matter